Hello again, everyone. Um, some of you may remember that the other day I made a card using this set from Global Land of Ginkgo Leaves. Um, it came with the stamps, the dies, and a stencil. And I showed you how I managed to align them by making a jig. Well, this is this is my jig for all of those stamps and dies now. Um, this is quite a hefty piece of cardstock. It's about 300 GSM, I think. I normally use my silk weave linen, which is about 250. So it is, it is a bit more robust. So that's my jig. Um, today, I thought I would make a card um, using the same process, but um, I thought after I'd, after I'd done the video that, you know, there's an easier way of doing this. And I did put that easier way in the description because the, the, the um, video was uploaded by then. Um, but I was doing it as I was kind of, I just thought about it and I, I started the video, <laughs> started the video straight away. So today I want to do the same thing. I'm now keeping this jig with the set in a little packet. So they're all together. If ever I need them, I've got them. Um, one commenter said to me that if you make a, if you make a die um, into a stencil, you can just then put your die through the stencil. I can't do that with this because this stencil is actually bigger. No, it's smaller than the than the. Let me get this right. The stencil. Can't work it out. What was I thinking? I can't put the die through the. That's right. I can't put the die through the stencil because there's more bits to it than there are uh, holes in the stencil. And this stencil leaves me with a little border around the edge. So when I've cut my die, it's going to be bigger than the stencil. So that's the reason I can't put it in. Anyway, what I thought I would do today is monochrome. Um, I'm going to make um, a card, uh, just my normal size little card, you know, half a sheet of A4, cut down the length, tent folded, and I have a panel. I've also got a couple of bits of spare. One, I thought I would put a panel across the bottom and I found this ginkgo em embossing folder. This was from Craft Stash. I don't think they still do it. I did have a look for you to see if they still did this one, but I couldn't see it on the website. So I'm just, I am envisage having just a little bit of this embossed. I'm going to do everything in monochrome today. I'm just in, going to go in shades of grey. So not 50, you understand, only about three. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to emboss this bit, get this ready for the bottom of the card. Okay, let's just pop this through. And what I'm going to do with this one, I, I tried it before, I'm going to put a shim in as well because it's not a 3D folder, it's just a 2D, but I want to get a little bit extra pressure. So I'm putting a shim in as well as my adapter plate. It's a bit stiff, but it's fine. There we go. So this is going to be for my panel at the bottom. I'm going to use part of that. Can you see that? It's really pretty. Just for the panel at the bottom. I'll be cutting that down. Um, next, I want to do my die cutting of the, the, the one of these that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use this one, which is a slightly smaller one than I the one I used in the other video. It's so pretty. And this one, the stamp for this, has got lovely lines on, on that little tiddly bit there. So I'm just going to cut this out. I can find the plate. This will do. Here we go. Now this is the bit that is going to make it easier than the way I did it in the previous video. So there is my die cut. Here is my stencil. And what I'm going to grab is a sticky mat. Now, if you don't have a sticky mat, you can make one. You can use any piece of acetate. And if you have some of this stuff, which I think is so, so useful, it's stick and spray from Crafters Companion and it is a reproduction. 
can't say it, repositionable adhesive. I use this to refresh the carrier sheets for my silhouette portrait. I use it for sometimes keeping a stencil down while I'm doing something, particularly if it's an intricate one. I'll just spray a little on and then um, put it down onto my paper and spray through. But if you've got some of this, you can make yourself a sticky mat. Just get a piece of acetate, a piece of packaging, something like one of these. One of these was a container for some dyes or something. Just cut out a piece, spray it, let it dry, and you've got yourself a sticky mat. So that's just kind of by the by, but here's one of my sticky mats. So what I'm going to do is this, put my die cut down on there, then, oh, that's not the right thing. Oh, she's got to get me, I'm carried away. Here is my um, stencil, and I can easily see this, not all that faffing around like I did yesterday or whenever it was, to get this, the um, stencil and the die cut aligned. Now, when you look through this, you probably can't see it clearly, but there is a little bit of the die cut that is masked by the stencil. So it'll have a little white edge all the way around. That's just great. It's what I want really, let's face it. So these are my colors. I've got Lost Shadow, Hickory Smoke and Black Soot. So here's my Lost Shadow brush. As before, I'm just going to go over the whole of the stencil with the Lost Shadow. I really enjoyed playing with these. And this really is just kind of an update on the previous video. A, to show how I've made a jig for every single thing and I can just keep that with the set. Okay, that was my Lost Shadow. Next one is Hickory Smoke. Next, my next shade darker. Now this is not going to go all over. This is just going to go in on some of the places. I'm, try, I'm trying to get it kind of towards the middle. So I've got Hickory Smoke on, on the lightest bit, some um, Lost Shadow on the lightest, Hickory Smoke in the middle bit. Then I'm just going to add a bit more of the black soot to one, one side to give the third shade. There we go, that's that one. Now we'll use the black soot. Here's my black soot one. Now I've got to be careful with this because it's a, quite a big, big brush for a, a small area. There we go. <laughs> Holding my breath. Okay. Put the lid back on those and just pop those ashes away. Now, there is my die cut, all coloured. So now, the next stage is to put it into my stamp platform. That's the sheet for my sticky mat. Here's my stamp platform. Okay. Here's my jig. This is the one I'm going to be using. Put Just put down a magnet. Here is my stamp. I'm going to arrange my stamp carefully into that space. And as I did with some of, when I was doing some sentiments this way um, in a video long ago, if you're not sure, you can always put a piece of plain paper behind and just see, or a piece of paper just of, of your die cut, just to make sure that you are exactly where you want it. I'm hoping that I'm going to be in the right place. Now, what I would like to do with this, which is a little bit different, is to emboss the veining in silver. So I'm going to give it a quick burst with my heat tool, just to make sure that the uh, embossing powder doesn't stick to any damp oxide ink. Okay, and to be sure, what I'm going to do is, I'll put it in first, and then I am going to just give it a quick 
rub with my antistatic bag. So hopefully it is absolutely dry. So now I'm going to ink my stamp up with Versamark. And we're going to stamp onto the die cut. I'm going to an art lecture this morning with my friend. So I'm hoping I get this sorted in time. Went to one that's a monthly art appreciation club and uh, the talk last month was absolutely wonderful. He had the audience wrapped, as they say. Okay, here's my silver. Go over here. I, I, I can't think what the, the talk today is about, I'm afraid. Now I'm being very careful because I don't want to dislodge any of the embossing powder that is on the on the actual Versamark. I want to get rid of the stuff that's not, but I want to keep the stuff that's on the in Versamark on. I'm just going to carefully move this to one side because I don't want to let go of this because I've got it in my tweezers so that my I'm just avoiding the embossing powder. So here I go. I'm just going to heat this set this. Isn't that pretty? Don't you think? So, I think this, I can put this away now. There we go. Just cut this down. Bottom's not straight, so I better cut that first. Okay. I'm just pushing this, I hope you can see, pushing this up to the edge of the blade, and then I'm going to match this with it. That's fine, that side. Now I'm going to cut off the other end. So I'm going to put this. I don't think that is square. Let me just do this as well. No, it's not. Can you see? It was just an off cut. Straighten that up before I start it. Okay, get that level with the with the uh, side of the blade. Match this side here, and just cut. Okie dokie. Right, all my bits up over there. This is all ready to stick on. I may decide to put a little. Um, do I want a little ribbon on that? I think I might. Let me just find one. I think this might do. Oh, tried to colour it right there, look, didn't I? Let's just see. I think that's quite nice. Let's put a bit of this on. side do I want this? I want that that way. I sometimes use them the other direction, debossed. So let's put this ribbon on. my card front and I just need a simple sentiment I really rather like that so this was very short and sweet but I think it was um, just to refine a little the uh, the technique from the previous um, tutorial for these particular 
stamps and dies and stencil, etc. But um, an embossed thank you or with sympathy or whatever, I think in silver as well, uh, will make it, you know, quite a pretty little card. Very, very clean and simple, but kind of, that's me. Anyway, hopefully I think I've got it done in time. So um, have a lovely day. I did notice uh, t today that my numbers were down. Um, I, I kind of watched them go down by about six um, while I was just looking at uh, comments. Um, and considering that people are subscribing, new new subscribers as well, um, it's a bit disappointing. So if you possibly could check that you're, you haven't um, unknowingly become unsubscribed, I'd be really grateful. So as ever, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon.